the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, still battling the sickness. Whatever I got, I don't know what it is, um, but I'm still battling it. But we're back, and I want to do a fun show today. I want to get into who is the new pound for pound king. Uh, there's a bunch of good options. Uh, we're going to get into that a little bit. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Um Please follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. A quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. It doesn't come at you twice anymore. It comes at you every day. Once a day, eight to ten minutes a day. Um, keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing, seen on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it's near and dear to our hearts, so please like, share, and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene as well. All right, guys, let's, let's get into this because this is, uh, is going to be interesting. Obviously, everyone had Canelo as their pound for pound king up until three days ago. Um, obviously, we don't have that anymore. He got thoroughly dominated by Dimitri Bavol, which was unexpected. Um, and, and I want to get into that. Look, Bavol is a good fighter. Um, he looked extremely ordinary. Um, he was fairly inactive going back to, you know, he beat Pascal in uh, late 2018. Um, he looked good in that fight. Um, in, in 2019, he, he fought twice. He beat Joe Smith Jr. Um, almost got knocked out in the 10th round. Was badly hurt in the 11th. Got through that fight. Uh, won a wide decision. Then in late 2019, on the Usyk undercard uh, with, with um, Chaz Witherspoon, he, he, he fought um, Lennon Castillo. Looked really, really ordinary in that fight. Um, then in 2021, he didn't fight at all in 2020, 2021. He fought Craig Richards, um, almost lost that fight. Um, gave the fight away, going to go, you know, gave a lot of the second half of the fight away. Um, and then looked, um, good, but not spectacular against Salomov. So it, it didn't give you a lot to think that he was going to look good and beat Canelo. Um, and then he did it. Um, Canelo is, you know. I, I think his best victory, I mean, just, I mean, obviously it's his best win, but it's his clearest cut victory he's had since Pascal, right? Like, all those other guys somehow gave him more trouble than Canelo did. Um, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but uh, this is boxing. He's done it. Um, so I want to get into that, and I want to preface with who the new pound-for-pound pound king is with, it's not the wall. Why is it not the wall? Because of all the names of he did not look like a pound for pound count against any of those guys. Um, I, I need to put my new pound for pound list together, and I suppose Bavol has to be on the list. He did just beat Canelo. He's not going to be number one, and obviously Canelo lost, so he's got to come up with the number one list. So who goes to number one? I, I think more or less to three man race. You can give me other names. You can give me Errol Spence, but Errol Spence is not in my top three. My top three, in some order, is going to be Usyk, Anue, and Crawford. Um, I want to backtrack just a little bit. Um, Floyd Mayweather retired in 2016, and he was the pound for pound king when he retired. Uh, Andre Ward was number two. Floyd retired. Andre Ward becomes pound for pound king. Okay. Um, Ward retires in 2018, correct? Um, he was pound for pound king when he retires. Crawford's number two on the list. Crawford goes to number one. Crawford never lost, so it's hard to put him. But in 2019, um, Canelo knocks out Kovalev. He's got to go to number one at that point. He, knocked, he went, jumped up two weight classes. Beat Kovalev, right? Kovalev was, was looking good. You guys can say what you want. Um, Kovalev ha had scored some big wins in a, in, in a row. Um, he beat Anthony Yard, knocked Anthony Yard out. Um, 
right before that had, I thought, the best win of his career against Alvarez. So he looked good. Canelo knocks him out, so Canelo's got to go to number one. Canelo's the number one pound-for-pound guy from November, I think it was November of 19, might have been September, late November 19 (coughs) to early 2022, becomes undisputed at 168 in the the meantime, goes up to 175, gets knocked out, uh, sorry, gets uh, outpointed by Bavall. Bavol can't go to number one on your list, guys. He doesn't have the resume to be number one. I suppose he has to go on your list. He just beat Canelo. He's not number one. Um, I did, Does Crawford go back to number one, right? Crawford was number one. Never lost the title, right? I've always said, well, you can't lose for winning, right? And he kind of did, right? Canelo kind of had to go to number one. Um, Usyk is, 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 is kind of my pick right now. Usyk has won seven belts in two weight classes, right? Like, Usyk's resume, although somewhat inactive, it cannot be denied. Um, he just beat Anthony Joshua, who people thought was, you know, the number one heavyweight. Before that, he beat Chisora, top f- 10 to 15 heavyweight. But then he ran through the cruiserweights, Baloo, Gassiev, uh, Breedis, Marco Huck, Michael Hunter, um, Christopher Glowacki. He ran through all those guys. So he he was he's arguably the greatest cruiserweight of all time. I think he is the greatest cruiserweight of all time. And now he's got two big wins at heavyweight. He's got two big names at heavyweight in Chisora and, and Anthony Joshua. I, I kind of think this is my pick. I, I think Usyk is pound for pound king right now. The other option is in a way. Um, in a way, has a pound for pound resume. He does. Um, the thing is, he's been inactive too, right? Um, he's got a fight coming up with Donaire. That can help, knock him out. That can help you. But you go back um, since say okay, so he beat Jamie McDonald in 2018. He beat Piano in 2018. 2019, he he destroys Emmanuel Rodriguez. Then he gets past Donaire in that fight of the year fight in 2019. Since then, he fought once in 2020. He knocked out Jason Maloney. All right. Uh, 2021, he fights twice. He he, he stops uh, both Michael Desmarinus, um, and Arian Diapen. Good wins. You know, he took care of business, scored knockouts. He did what he had to do. I don't know. Let's make him number one pound for pound. It's not. It's, it, look, he he's got titles at what four different weight classes: one hundred five, one hundred eight, skip one twelve, one fifteen, one eighteen. It's pretty good. You know, you go back way back twenty sixteen. He's got the win over Kohei Kano. He's got a win over um, Antonio Nieves, long reigning champ. So he's got. He's kind of has a resume that could put him there. But recently, it had I mean, like his wins aren't bad recently. But like I said, those with Michael Desmarinus, um, and then, uh, uh, um, what what was the other name? Oh yeah, Arian Diapen. Those aren't pound for pound victories. Jason Maloney is a good name. Donaire is really his last great win, and that was a great streak. He had Donaire, Rod- Manny Rodriguez, Piano, Jamie McDonald, Nieves. Right from 2016 from Kono. To 2019, he had a great resume. In the few years since, it's kind of questionable. It's hard to put him number one, although you could make that argument. I guess where I'm kind of leading right now would be Usyk one. Uh, I don't know. Either Inouye or Crawford, they're, they're two and three, and then Spence is four. I'm going to come out with the official pound for pound list later in the week, or I might do it after this week when, when Charlo and Castano fight. I might do it after that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. What do you think in pound for pound number one guy? I'm kind of leaning towards Usyk right now. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscri- subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel, a Texas boxing scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is uh, May 11th, 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.